Now will you put um, handfuls of the mozzarella on? Lisa Novak cherishes her time with family. I think I made way too much ricotta. But just a few months ago, even making dinner for them would tire her out. I really had to be on a limited schedule. Like I only had, I could really only do one big thing a day. Lisa had severe chest pain, was constantly exhausted, and even collapsed from sudden cardiac death. I felt like no one believed me. Like they were treating me like I was a hypochondriac, even though I literally couldn't walk 100 yards without being totally out of breath and uncomfortable. She finally got a CT scan that showed several major blockages in her heart arteries. It was treated, but then they found more. So what they did was they loaded me up on medicine. Um, they said, we're going to treat this medically because the blockage, the other blockages that you have are too small. We can't fix them. She still felt terrible. She couldn't go on bike rides, hikes, or travel with her family. It was horrible because not only did I not get to go, I felt like I was letting my kids down. And there's just so many things I was told or I thought that I could never do again. Good morning. <laughs> That's why Lisa looked for a second opinion elsewhere. She met with Dr. Jamie McCabe from UW Medicine's Heart Institute. It was only with kind of a deeper dive that we came to understand that in fact, no, this isn't too small a vessel to fix. This is actually quite a big vessel and it feeds quite a large uh, part of her heart. And, and that's reflected in how much better she has felt after it was fixed. Dr. McCabe put a stent in at UW Medical Center, opening up the vessel. It was just so amazing because I instantly knew that my life had changed. It's like the first time I took the garbage out after the procedure, I thought, wow, that was really easy. Don't throw me your curve. Lisa's back to work full time. Home run! And clearly more than capable being the mom she loves to be. I feel so lucky. I mean, there were so many things that happened that just were pure luck or whatever you want to call it. So I feel so blessed to just to be here and to be able to be such an active part of my family. One, two, three, no back! From the UW Medicine newsroom in Seattle, I'm Katie Chen.